Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be covering the latest individual poll out of every single state that I use see here that is blank for the 2024 Senate map. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Before we get started, just a disclaimer, this is not my actual prediction, it's merely just me looking at the latest polling data in every single state. For the state of Washington, we see Cantwell is leading Garcia by 9 percentage points. This is definitely a closer result than I would expect. I have her winning by about 13 as of right now. So Cantwell is projected in the latest poll to win by 8 points. If we go to the state of Nevada where Sam Brown just won his primary there. However, Rosen in the latest poll from late May does have her up by about 14 points. I definitely think that is not going to happen. I have Sam Brown winning. It is possible he loses, but I definitely don't think she'd be even close to that as of right now the state of arizona gallego is up by three against carrie lake in the latest poll carrie lake had lost the governor race very narrowly in 2022 so i think that her coming back you know she is a little bit stronger of a candidate than people i think realize i mean she did barely lose against you know a candidate that was basically secretary of state in a very liberal trending state and she was able to barely even lose so to say that she's a, a weak candidate is not really that productive to the conversation per se i have her winning right now but as of right now that's what the latest poll shows if you look at new mexico the one poll that we have from early may actually shows the democrat only up by three points they are running a daughter of a really you know basically popular candidate from new mexico so i wouldn't be surprised if that race is you know within six or seven points if we go to the state of montana we'll actually see that tim sheehy is leading the incumbent tester by three percentage points i definitely think this race is going to be within the five to ten point range of victory for sheehy with donald trump carrying him to the finish line tester would more than likely win in an off year as of right now just fyi and the next day it's going to be nebraska where right now the independent candidate is trailing the republican incumbent by just four percentage points that puts that race in the, the lean column i have this race as a safe classification for fisher i don't really think that race is really going to be that competitive but polling suggests otherwise in the state of texas we're actually going to see the latest poll from the state actually has Cruz up by 13 percentage points he narrowly won his race in 2018 against better o'rourke in a d plus 20 year for the senate however now i actually have the popular vote for the senate around four or five points for the democrats which is way closer hence that's why states like nevada arizona are flipping republican etc and texas is a pretty strong margin for cruz i actually have him winning around this margin in the state of florida we're going to see rick scott does have a semi-competitive race the latest pollster from likely voter samples does actually have scott only winning by two percentage points so we're going to be putting that in the lean column I actually have him winning by like around six or seven points in the state as of right now a little bit less than what people are actually expecting out of a state like florida the state of ohio is going to be fairly interesting we do have that senate race there let's see if we have any polling data and as of right now marist college which is a very liberal pollster by the way from june 3rd does have brown up by five points on moreno so i definitely think there is a bit of an overestimation for the incumbent sherrod brown who is a moderate that did well in some white working class areas on the east side of ohio you know in a couple of his elections however bernie moreno's strong suit in the primary was those exact counties and donald trump i expect is going to perform very well there in a special election where the democrat outperformed pretty significantly in a district in the east side of ohio mahoming county was only decided for the democrat by literally 14 points and that's a district that used to be very heavily democrat and this was a basically an election where the democrat was able to outperform by like a couple points in a very trumpian district so that is a big sign that those districts are actually moving to the right and now for virginia we'll go here and we'll actually see the latest poll has kane basically winning by 12 hunk cow just got projected to be the winner of the primary there as of right now i think he's going to do a lot better than this i think he's going to get the race under 10 but is he going to get under five uh polling data will reflect that as we go on i expect some polling data to come out of there as of right now we will see how that develops in the next coming months if we go to maryland we'll see right now that 
also brooks is actually only up by 10 percentage points now this race in my forecast is actually really not that competitive it's actually like plus 18 for also brooks she wins fairly easily hogan actually performs better in an off year because biden's not really dragging him down per se so that's roughly what you're kind of seeing there or at least trump is not necessarily um holding him down or whatever so that's quite funny about the state of maryland if we look at new jersey we're actually going to see that the polling here is pretty interesting if they include menendez which he is in the race now and glasnier basically or i think it was baja who won the primary essentially and it's only d plus six so that race could definitely be under five points as of right now there is a big possibility for the race to be under five points if we go to a state like connecticut which i did leave blank let's see if there's any polling data there is no polling data we're going to be leaving that in the safe column as of right now we have a couple more states maine at large I'm not sure if they have any new polling data for this race we do see actually there is a new poll from april 30th king is up by literally 30 points in this poll so that actually puts this say in the safe democrat column as of right now i am gonna have to update the polling there i didn't even know there was a poll out of here if we look at the state of pennsylvania we're gonna be able to see a new poll from here, Marist College, you know, pulled this state plus six for Casey. Uh, as of right now, I actually have the state as like a two and a half point win for Bob Casey right now. Uh, it's kind of competitive in a way, but I don't think McCormick would even be able to win it on a decent day as of right now. Michigan, we actually see Slotkin only up by three as of right now in the state of Michigan. You know, this race, you know, I have it going to Slotkin right now, but it is a way closer race than people are thinking. And Wisconsin, Baldwin is up by eight percentage points in this latest poll, even though I have the state as like a one point race for Baldwin, essentially. I think the polling aggregate is going to really underestimate him in the state here and so i do actually have very cold day only losing the state by about a point and minnesota is the final state on here and we do have new polling data out of here you know right now klobuchar is actually only up by about 14 points and 13 here as of right now against both of these nominees and so we're going to be putting that in the likely democrat column and so that is it for this video. Republicans have 51 Senate seats. Democrats have 49 based on the latest individual poll from every single swing state. As of right now, I definitely think Ohio is going to go red. I think Arizona and Nevada will go red. That puts Republicans at 54 Senate seats. However, right now, this is what the polling data reflects. If you guys did enjoy this coverage, make sure to hit the like button to help the algorithm out to see if you guys actually really like this and subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.